If you've worked with retrieval systems before, you know that they're great at finding relevant documents for a given query. However, in most real-world cases, user queries aren't simple enough to be solved using a single retrieval pass. If you think about it, most AI products you already interact with use agentic search to answer complex questions. Coding assistants search across documentation, multiple files in a repository, and issue trackers to help developers solve problems. Legal assistants search across case law databases, regulatory documents, and internal firm precedents. In deep research mode, AI chatbots search over the internet to find multiple sources, cross-reference them, and continue this process based on the gathered evidence to build your report. The common thread across all these systems is that they don't rely on a single retrieval step. Instead, they use agentic search to orchestrate multiple searches, evaluate results, and iteratively gather the information needed to provide accurate and comprehensive answers. Given a user query, an agentic search system generates a query plan. This often involves breaking the user query down to logical subqueries, executes each step of the query plan by issuing searches over different chroma collections or other sources. Using the results of each step, the system evaluates the current state of the plan. If we have enough information to answer the user query, we break. If we still need to complete the rest of the plan, we continue. Finally, if our current results suggest we need to change the original strategy, we can override the query plan. A common tool that is used to evaluate agentic search systems is the BrowseComPlus benchmark. It includes a set of challenging questions that require multiple rounds of searching and reasoning to answer correctly. For example, here is a query from the dataset. Could you provide the name of the individual who as of December 23, was the coordinator of a research group founded in 2009, co-edited a book published in 2018. The individual with whom they co-edited the book was a keynote speaker at a conference in 2019, served as the convener of a panel before 2020, published an article in 2012, and completed their PhD on the writings of an English writer. You can see that the square involves issuing many different searches some of which will depend on the results of previous ones. Every query in the BrowseComPlus dataset has goal docs that are needed to compile the final correct answer. Evidence docs are needed to answer the query, but may not directly contain the final answer themselves. They provide supporting information required for reasoning through the problem. Negative docs are included to deliberately make answering the query more difficult. They are introduced to distract the agent and force it to distinguish between relevant and irrelevant information. If you want to experiment with building your own agentic search system and evaluate its performance on the BrowseComPlus benchmark, we indexed a subset of the benchmark's dataset on Chroma Cloud, which you can get when you create a new database. We also provide a simple agentic search implementation in the Chroma Cookbooks repo. It includes a base agent class that orchestrates the agentic search process with a query planner, an executor to run tools and complete each step, and a plan evaluator. The project also includes a search agent implementation that augments the base agent with the tools to search over a Chroma collection, as well as a CLI interface. Let's see it in action. First, in the Chroma Cloud dashboard, I'll create a new database. Let's name it Agentic Search. Then I'll choose the Load Sample Dataset option and pick BrowseCom Plus. This copies the collection into the database we just created. Next up, let's clone the Chroma Cookbooks repo. Grab the URL from here and git clone paste. Back in the dashboard, I'll grab the connection environment variables for this collection. In the settings tab at the bottom, I can choose the .env option, make an API key, copy it, and in the Chroma Cookbooks repo, the agentic search project, I can make a new .env file with these variables. Let's install the dependencies for this project with pmpm install. To see the agent in action, we can run pnpm run CLI dev. We'll provide a query ID of 770, which is the query in BrowseCom Plus we talked about earlier. And we can use the dash M flag to choose a specific model. So let's take GPT 
4.1. We can see the query displayed over here, and the agent just generated a query plan. It's running the first step and calling the hybrid search tool to search over the Chroma collection. Looks like this step did not yield good results. It marked it as failed and decided to override the query plan. Now we can see the agent running through the plan and looks like most steps are succeeding. It's calling different tools to search over the Chroma collection and at every step it evaluates the results. Looks like the agent gathered enough information after running through the plan and provided the correct result with a confidence of 100%. Try to run the search agent with different configurations. Stronger reasoning models like GPT-5 may do a better job at tool calling and reasoning and may produce a correct result with a smaller query plan size or less tool calls per step. Smaller models are much faster and are less likely to get the correct result, but may still succeed with the help of query planning and evaluation like we just saw in this demo. You can also override the implementation change the prompts, or introduce more search techniques to keep improving your agentic search harness. When you're ready to run it on your own Chroma collections, all you have to do is update the connection environment variables. We can't wait to see what you build.